welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making salmon cakes for you guys. This has been a highly requested recipe from a lot of my subscribers. I do post the pictures of the salmon cakes that I make all the time on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and a lot of you guys have been asking me to show you guys how I make them in a video. So here is the video. It usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to make them along with whatever else I'm making. It's probably like a 30 minute meal so it's something that will be quick and easy for you if you're in a rush or you just came home from work and you want to make a quick dinner I always resort to salmon cakes when I can't figure out what to eat so please check out this video if you want a quick easy delicious meal so if you guys want to see how I make my salmon cakes please keep watching so when I make this I like to start with a trash bowl and just like a regular bowl to put your salmon in so I use the pink salmon by chicken of the sea and I just pour it in a regular bowl like this. You're gonna have to separate it. Um, it does have bones in it, so you're gonna have to pick the bones out if you don't want bones. Some people leave them in, but me personally, I'm not a fan, so I just take them out. That's why I create like a trash bowl so that I can pick all of the bones out of the salmon and like the skin off. And just make sure your hands are clean. Of course, you wash your hands before you you know, you cook, of course, like that's just a given. But yeah, I take the skin off, you're gonna just make sure I get all these bones. Some of the part pieces you'll have to like open up so that you can really get it off. But just make sure you like thoroughly check it. Cause I mean, if you don't mind the bones, that's one thing, but I don't want bones in my salmon cake. So me personally, I pick them out. Then you're just going to mash your salmon up like this with a fork. So as far as the ingredients that you're going to put in your salmon cakes, you're gonna need some breadcrumbs, you're gonna need red pepper, onion, green pepper, fresh garlic, and egg. Now obviously these are optional. You don't have to put any of this in your salmon cakes. This is just what most people put in them and this is what I always put in mine. I also add parsley, Old Bay, salt and pepper, and mayonnaise. Those are the ingredients that I add in, which I don't have them out right now, but you will see me add them into the bowl in a few minutes. These are the main ingredients that I put in my salmon cakes. Everything else is just seasoning. So that is just like according to your taste, really. So if you guys wanna use these, it's perfectly fine. So I'm adding the green pepper, then the breadcrumbs, then the red pepper here. Then I'm just gonna do onions, the garlic, and last I'm going to be adding the eggs. Then I'm going to add a, about a tablespoon of uh, mayo, some Old Bay, this is sea salt, and then I'm just going to go in with some black pepper. So next you're just gonna mix it all together, like so. And then you're gonna create your your cakes. You wanna make sure that your oil is already hot before you put um, your salmon cakes in. This way they'll cook faster. Um, they, this oil was pretty hot, so they browned rather quickly. I actually only really left them in there for no more than like five minutes, to be completely honest. They're really easy and quick to make once you get the mixture going. Once you have your salmon cakes, um, once you make the cakes, they're done within five to 10 minutes. So it really, really didn't take long to make these at all to be completely honest with you guys now my heat is up pretty high so they browned rather quickly but I actually like my salmon cakes this dark I like them a little crispy kind of like that semi burnt look I love that so I was totally fine with that but if you want to let them just get to like a golden brown I suggest keeping your heat on low and not high like I did Next, I'm gonna move on to my red potatoes. This is just something that I love to make. My mom actually taught me how to make these. So I just cut up some red potatoes. I douse them in olive oil. I add a little bit of garlic powder. Well, a lot of bit of garlic powder. <laughs> some Mrs. Dash, this is optional. Um, you can use fresh basil. I just use that because I don't have any. And then I just added some Italian seasoning in, some sea salt, and then just some black pepper. Same old ingredients that I used on the salmon cakes. Then I'm just going to cover them with foil and pop them in the oven. And once your salmon cakes are done, they should look something like this. 
and then my potatoes are done and this is what they look like once I take them out the oven so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm getting ready to eat these salmon cakes that look so good. By the way guys, I did make them a little crispy because I kind of like my salmon cakes a little burnt, but you don't have to cook them that long, just an FYI. You can just have them where they're like a golden crispy brown. I kind of like mine a little crispy though. So. That's why I made them so dark, just in case you guys are wondering. So if you guys want to see more of these cooking videos from me, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any more requests um, that I've posted or things that you just want to learn how to make in general, please leave me a comment down below and I will be sure to check into it and see if I can make it for you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.